Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of Dead Letter Drop by Peter James. Um, this is his first novel. I'm going to read you the blurb and check out some of my tabs. I only actually left a few tabs in it, as you can see. I, I guess after the first little part of it, there wasn't too much I wanted to talk about. Dane reads. But yeah, originally published in 1981, Dead Letter Drop is Peter James's first ever novel. Now reissued for the first time, it features a brand new introduction by the author. Max Flynn, undercover agent, has the unenviable job of spying on his own side. When to kill, who to kill, whether to kill. Those are all quick-fire decisions that have to be made if he wants to stay alive. But why does an innocuous airline ticket hold such significance for Flynn? Who has gone to the trouble of making him bear witness to their own suicide? And could the agent's beautiful companion be hiding secrets as a spy? The hazy, murky world of counter-espionage leaves no room for errors of judgement. Flynn knows he's finished if he makes one false move. So, um, I will say that Peter James, uh, he explained that this was written uh, in the foreword here. Let's see. Oh, he wrote, a, he wrote the script of a movie that was called The Worst British Film Since the Second World War and the least funny British funny film ever made. He says he has the uh, framed review hanging in his office to this very day. And he says, unlike the Roy James novels, which he plots meticulously, this one was kind of a discovery novel, so he just set off writing it to see where it took him. Um, and he wrote it basically because Ian Fleming had died and so there was a gap in the market for spy novels because there were no new Bond novels coming out. It's a great example of writing to market. We get a reference to the World Trade Center, which obviously is no longer there. I thought this was interesting too as well. Again, it just shows you the time at which it was written. There was no shortage of forms and carbon copies to go under the forms and columns to be filled in on the forms. I could have done it all myself in about 10 minutes flat with the aid of a couple of IBM computers and three dozen secretaries. Unfortunately, the only equipment that the city of New York could offer me was a battered old manual Olivetti with a lowercase t that had broken off and a pair of index fingers attached to 18 stone of fatted flesh in a uniform grubby enough to give anorexia to a clothes moth. Oh yeah, then we get this, he, he shoots his gun. Once would have been enough. By the time the second bullet had travelled the 15 odd feet to where he had been standing, it must have found itself spinning through empty space, since the first one had caught him full square in the centre of his chest and carried him out backwards through the door into the corridor to the elevators. Mm. Bullets don't do that, they prove that on myth Mythbusters. They don't have enough surface area to like push you backwards like you see in the movies. Um, that, and that's where writers get it from, they've seen movies and they write what they've seen. But they do it in movies just to make it more visual, you know. In real life they just don't have the surface area to push someone like that. Mm. And that's pretty much all I've got to tell, tell you about this one. Um, I didn't tab anything after that because I just wasn't too engaged in the story. I mean, I guess it was okay. I, I'm just not really one for spy and uh, like thrillers anyway. Um, and it, it just, it very much does read like a first novel. And it's kind of mostly interesting to see how far James has come since he wrote this one. Um, I mean, if you're interested, by all means, do go ahead and check it out, but I, I don't think it's for everyone. I gave Dead Letter Drop by Peter James a three out of five. <laughs> So there we have it, that's what I made of Dead Letter Drop. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book if you read it. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye